Arguably the most important feature in any leave management tool is how well it handles PTO requests. Because let's be honest, if an employee can't easily ask for time off and have it approved just as quickly, they're not going to want to use it. And before you know it, you're going to be stuck going back to some old messy spreadsheet that not only eats away at your time, but at your patience as well. Luckily with Vacation Tracker, submitting and responding to leave requests is not only simple to do, but can be done from wherever your team prefers to communicate the most. So let's learn and see how we can reclaim some of those hours and give them back to you. Hey, it's David from Vacation Tracker here. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at how you could submit a time off request if you're an employee, as well as what an approver can do in response to that request. Now for this video, I highly recommend taking a look at the timestamps in the description because I'm gonna be covering all the platforms that Vacation Tracker currently integrates with. So I would suggest picking the integration you're currently working with to see the relevant information. Let's kick things off by seeing how leave requests are sent and managed through the online dashboard. Now this is a view you'll have access to regardless of the integration you have chosen and regardless of the role you occupy within Vacation Tracker. Every user, admin, and approver has access to their own personalized dashboard as well as their own user profile. This is what a typical user's profile might look like within Vacation Tracker. In order to request leave, one must simply navigate to the request leave option in the left hand menu. And then once the page is loaded, it's as simple as selecting your leave type, as well as a start and end date, and putting a reason if necessary. Once all the fields have been filled out and you click on request leave, this specific request will be sent to the approver for this user. And now they just need to await whether or not it's been accepted or rejected. As an approver, when you log into the online dashboard, you can see any time off requests that have come in simply by scrolling down to the pending request section. Here you can quickly approve, deny, or deny with reason depending on the circumstances. You also have the option to edit a leave request that has come in, but only the dates that were chosen, not the reason nor the leave type. Another handy thing you can do as an approver is actually add leave for an employee who may have forgotten to do so. If you want to add leave for a specific user, you just need to go to the leave request section in the left hand menu and then click on add leave. And then you'll need to just fill out a few basic options like we saw before. Let's say your organization is one that runs on Microsoft Teams and you know that employees would much rather submit their leave requests through here as opposed to dealing with another online dashboard. In order to do so, you'll first need to ensure that your organization's team account has the vacation tracker bot downloaded by searching for it in the app store and then clicking on add. Once downloaded and configured, an employee can easily request time off via two methods within Teams. The first one is to start a chat with the bot and to type in request leave and it'll respond and ask you to fill out a few basic pieces of information before you click on submit. Alternatively, you can also choose to navigate to the request leave tab you see here and you'll be asked to fill out the same pieces of information and submit it via this way. All you'll need to submit as an employee is your leave type, the dates selected, as well as a reason if necessary. Then, once you click on request leave, it will be sent to an appropriate approver for them to either reject or accept. As an approver, whenever a user you oversee requests time off, you'll be notified by the vacation tracker bot in a new message. This message will include all the relevant information you need in order to make a decision regarding their request. And you will see information such as the type of leave, the date, the amount of time, etc. In addition to all this information, you'll also be notified about whether or not someone from that team is also on leave during this period, making it that much easier to make a decision regarding the request. Once you've gone through all the information, you can choose to approve or deny the request simply by clicking on the button. And if you need to add a reason for either option, you can do so right above. Let's say your organization primarily uses Slack as a communication tool and you want to give your employees the option to submit their leave requests and have them approve from right within the Slack client. 
Well, to do so, you just need to ensure that the vacation tracker bot is downloaded for your Slack workspace. And to find it, all you need to do is search vacation tracker in the app store and then click on add. Once set up, users will have two options in order to request leave using Slack. The first is to just start a chat and use the command slash request leave, which will open a pop-up window where the user will need to fill out their information in order for it to be approved. The other option is to use the command slash vacation, which will show you all the different options you have when using the Slack bot. The first of these options is of course request leave, which will again open that same window where you can go through and enter your information for your time off. Once you hit send request, this will be sent to the approver and any traces or history of your leave requests will be shown here by the bot, including if it's been approved, as well as links you can use to add directly to your calendar. As an approver, whenever a user you oversee sends a time off request, you'll be notified by the vacation tracker app here in the form of a new message. This message will include the relevant information you need to make a decision, including the date, the amount of time off, the type of leave, etc. On top of all that, you'll also be notified about whether or not someone else is on leave from that team, so you'll have a clear picture about how to make a decision. In order to approve or deny, as you see at the bottom here, you'll have three buttons to click from, approve, deny, and of course deny with reason. And once you click on a button, the notification will be sent to the user that their request has either been approved or denied. If your organization primarily works with email as its main form of communication, you can still use some of Vacation Tracker's features from right within your email client. As an approver, whenever a user you oversee submits a leave request, you'll be notified right away via email from Vacation Tracker with very important information. This includes who it's from, the type of leave, the amount of time requested, etc. In addition to that information, you'll also be notified about whether or not anyone else from that team is on leave, making it that much easier to make a decision. At the bottom of the email, you'll have four buttons to click on, approve, deny, deny with reason, or open dashboard. The open dashboard button takes you immediately to the dashboard if you need to see more information, but you can click either one of these buttons at the top here to make a decision. Now as a user, while you cannot submit a leave request through email, you will be notified the second it has been approved by your approver. In this email, it'll include what your request was, as well as a button to add it to your calendar, and obviously buttons to open the vacation tracker dashboard, should you need to see more information. And now everyone is free to request time off and have it approved without the need for mediators. Thanks again for watching this video. I do hope you find it helpful and informative. But as always, if you have feedback, comments, or questions, you can leave it right down below and we will respond to you as soon as possible. In addition to this video, we have written quite a few help desk articles on the topic of submitting, responding, approving leave requests. So if you prefer learning about it that way, do be sure to check those out. And of course, as always, if you run into any issues whatsoever, you can always reach out to our incredible support team who is always willing to help. That's going to be all for this video tutorial. Happy vacationing.